Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Chicken French, which is kind of a funny name because this is so not French. It's more Italian, and it's not really Italian either. It is a culinary oddity from Rochester, New York, and if you want to read all about that and the mystery, check out the blog post on foodwishes.com because I don't have time to explain it here. i got to show you how to make it. So what we're going to do is we've got to prep a few things, the first of which is a seasoned flour. All right, so we're going to take some regular all-purpose flour, lots of salt, got to season your flour, black pepper, and of course, my favorite spice, cayenne. All right, give that a mix up with your fork, set that aside. In another bowl, I have two eggs and a little splash of milk. Whisk that up, also known as whisk that up, and set that aside. All right, I have a one pound bag of chicken scallopini, which is just thinly sliced chicken breast. Now, because I'm nice to and talk to my butchers, they cut it this way for me. All right, if you're in one of those supermarkets where, you know, there isn't a butcher, and if you need help in the meat department, they call some, you know, kid over from the greeting card section who says, chicken scallopini, never heard of it. All right, don't shop at those stores. Shop at a place where you can actually talk to the butcher and get what you want. So you can use chicken breast for this pounded out. You can use just whole small chicken breast for this. Or you can do what I did and get some chicken scallopini meat. Regardless, you're going to take the chicken and you're going to dredge it in the seasoned flour very thoroughly on both sides. And of course, as always, I'm using a fork here because i got to work a camera. Normally I would do this with my hands. One hand for the wet stuff, one hand for the dry stuff. After it's dredged in the seasoned flour, we're going to dump it into the egg mixture. And you can just leave it there. See, if you want to prep these ahead, you can have your chicken floured in the egg waiting for the saute pan. In my case, I'm just going to cook a couple pieces here to show you. So I'm going to take a pan on medium heat with olive oil and butter. When the butter melts, I'm going to take my chicken out of the egg mixture, place it into the preheated oily buttery pan, and cook on medium heat for approximately two to three minutes per side. If you're using whole small chicken breast, it's gonna take longer. If you pounded chicken breast out to make your own little scallopini pieces, it depends on how thick it is. So you gotta kinda of play it by ear, okay? So a couple minutes per side. We wanna keep our heat on medium here. We want it to brown, but not dark brown. Okay, when egg gets too dark, it gets really bitter. I want a little bit of bitterness in this egg batter crust, but not too bitter. So just looking like that is about perfect. Once that's done, I'm gonna remove that to a plate, and then we're gonna build this very simple chicken French sauce. That's gonna be reheated in the sauce, so don't worry. Set that aside. I'm gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice into the pan, and then some wine. Now, I like sherry, dry sherry. A lot of people like just regular white wine. Both work beautifully. The sherry will give you just a little sweeter flavor. The white wine, just a little sharper flavor. So up to you. I'm also going to give it a splash of vegetable stock, not chicken stock. Now you're thinking, why not? Well, because first of all, it's already chicken, so it's going to taste chickeny. And the vegetable stock, I think, gives it a really cool color. We're going to reduce that by half, by eye. We've done many of these pan sauces. When you think it's by half, turn the heat off, throw in your butter, cold butter. You know that technique. We've done that in like, I don't know, I'm estimating 30 videos. And then keep moving it until it melts. Now you're probably thinking, I've heard that, Chef. you got to keep moving it until it melts. What happens if you don't? Well, nothing if it's just like a few seconds. See here, I'm going to stop because I need to go get my parsley, which is the last ingredient. See, nothing happened. Keep swirling. It's all good. So when we say keep it moving until it's all melted, within reason. Okay, so keep moving it. When the butter disappears, taste for salt and pepper, and you're ready to go. Put our chicken back in. Spoon over that warm sauce. That's only going to take a second to reheat. In fact, it's probably still warm because that whole sauce only took me about five minutes to make. As soon as that chicken's warm through, which again, just a minute, put it on the plate, spoon over that amazing sauce. And that, as we say in Rochester, New York, is some damn fine chicken French. All right, very tender, very moist. That light egg batter, just beautiful on that thin chicken. That tangy, buttery, lemony wine sauce. Perfect. It's a perfect chicken entree. All right, chicken's boring. Chicken breast, even more boring. But this is a kind of a nice, uh, interesting way to uh, eat some chicken breast without, you know, falling asleep halfway through the bite. You'll see here my side dishes, a very minimalist. Some sliced tomatoes with a little salt and pepper. I took a half an avocado, put a little vinegar and oil in the uh, where the seed was. And that's it. Simple, beautiful. You don't need a bunch of starch all the time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. All the ingredients will be on the site, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.